Today I'm going to talk about how to add fractions using fraction strips when you have fractions with unequal denominators. Now we're going to eventually <clears throat> move up to doing this numerically, but this is a really good exercise in understanding what it means to find a common denominator, for example. So <clears throat> here's our first problem. We have one, we have one half plus three eighths. So we demonstrated that by putting a one whole fraction strip here on top and then we add then we put one half and then the three eighths underneath it. Now we need to figure out what blocks we can what size of blocks we could put underneath this that will all be the same size and that will be exactly um, this length in total. What I'm gonna do is go to a website that kids can use from home to line up these blocks. It's a really good website and I'm going to link to it on my web, on my website. In class we used actual fraction strips <clears throat> but of course we don't have those at home so we'll, we'll do, you'll be able to do it online uh, in the same manner. So one half plus three eighths. So I go to this website here and I scroll down, click on go and then I click here, and then I click on fractions, and I pull out one whole and one half and three eighths. Okay? So I have one half plus three eighths. So I take my one half and I put it here, and there's actually a really good feature on this. Um, you click on here and then click on for snap together and then the um, bars will snap together nicely so I put and then I do this and as they snap together you can see these stars come up here so that means they're snapped together perfectly so I have one half plus three eighths now I need to figure out what pieces all the same size will fit under this so <clears throat> I know it's going to be less than half, so I can try thirds. And I put my third here. If I, if I click on it twice, it, it uh, duplicates. Now it snaps there. I click on it twice, it duplicates. And this does not line up with this. So it's not, it's not going to be thirds. So I click on it three times, and it and erases. So um, what about fourths? So I put fourths here. Yeah. And that doesn't line up either. So, let's see. Hmm. Maybe sixths? Let's try that. Hmm. Really close, but not quite. Eighths. Snap that here. So if you look at this, <clears throat> we started out with one half plus three eighths, and now I change this uh, one half to one two three four eighths. So one half is equal to four eighths. I found an equivalent fraction that way, and I'm just showing you this because this is the way it will be when you do it numerically. 3 eighths stays a 3 eighths. I didn't actually have to change that one. If I add them together, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I get 7 eighths. We could just count them here, or we can look at these numbers here. When we add two fractions that have the same denominator, the denominator stays the same. And then I add the numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. So my answer to that one is 7 eighths. Once again, that's 4 eighths plus 3 eighths is 7 eighths. Okay? So for the home part of the homework that expects that has these spaces in it, this is what you would need to do. You would need to you would need to show the fraction with the with the common denominator. In this case, the common denominator is 8. You would not just repeat 1 half plus 3 eighths. <clears throat> so this one uh, is 3 fourths plus 1 third, and it's actually bigger than 1. So I'll show you what to do in that case. 3, f 
3 fourths plus 1 third. That's bigger than 1. <clears throat> I'm going to show you a trick to figure out what would fit underneath here and what we'll do after that. Figure out what fits in here. It looks pretty small, so I'm going to try the smallest one. And, and it turns out it fits perfectly. So this is my, this is my uh, fraction that, um, that I'm going to use, and it's actually a common denominator between 4 and 3. And I'm just going to line them up here. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So if I look at <clears throat> just the 3 fourths here, I count the number of twelfths. So I start out with 3 fourths plus 1 third. And I look at these 3 fourths and I count the number of twelfths. It turns out to be 9 twelfths. Now this, the 1 third, if I look at the number of twelfths, it turns out to be 4 twelfths. And when I and now that now that they they're both they both have a denominator of twelfths, my answer is going to be whatever many twelfths that you get when you add this and this. Nine plus four is thirteen. Now let's add that up. Let's count them here to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, it is thirteen. And <clears throat> so now we have an an improper fraction. We have an improper fraction, and. Um, there is a really awesome way that you can that you can um, write this as an a mixed number. Um, if you did it numerically, you'd have to divide 13 by 12, figure out the quotient, and then the remainder, and then the and all that kind of stuff. But here, all I have to do is take um, one whole. Lay it over my 13 twelfths, and whatever is left is going to be my fraction. So I will have one whole, that's this here, and then 1 twelfth, 1 and 1 twelfth equals 13 twelfths. Okay? So we'll go back to our problem here, and um, 3 fourths was 9 twelfths once again, 1 third was 4 twelfths, and we got 13 twelfths, and that equals 1 and 1 twelfth, which we didn't even have to do numerically. We didn't have to do any dividing. We just looked at the picture. <clears throat> so now we have 2 fifths plus 3 tenths, and we don't have pictures to go along with it, so we need to make our own. So now I need to add these together, and <clears throat> I need to figure out what would work for this. So, hmm. I wonder if one fifth would work. Let me pull out a fifth. I have a fifth here. Huh. Looks like it doesn't work. Now, <clears throat> one tenth. I'm going to try one tenth. Okay. That looks like that fits perfectly. So, if I start out with one fifth or excuse me, two-fifths, and I add three-tenths. Well, how many tenths are in that two-fifths? One, two, three, four. That's right. One, two, three, four. So I have four-tenths, and the three-tenths stays the same. And I get seven-tenths. And <clears throat> I don't believe I can simplify that because seven is a prime number, so that's my answer, seven-tenths. Seven tenths. Now one fourth plus one twelfth. Let's take a look at that. That's an interesting one, actually. So I start out with my fourth. I start and then I add my twelfth. And if I look at this, um, I'm thinking that um, I'm thinking that twelfths might work. Looks like twelfths do work. Twelfths work perfectly. So I have, let's see how many twelfths are in one fourth. I have uh, 
3 twelfths are in 1 fourth plus 1 twelfth. And I get 4 twelfths. Well, you know what? I can tell immediately that um, 4 twelfths is not simplified because 4 and 12 are both divisible by 2. So I'm thinking, are there any bigger blocks I can, I can um, put in here to simplify my answer? And when you're doing this numerically, you would definitely use twelfths, because that's the, that's the least common denominator, which we'll get into next week. But let's see. Oh, there's two twelfths and one sixth. And two sixths works, too. Let's take a look at that. Two sixths. Whoa, top and bottom are even. So I bet there's uh, I can simplify it more. Yep, I know that one third and two sixths are the same, and it's perfect. One fourth plus one twelfth equals one third, and this would need to be my answer one third when I'm done, it's because the answer needs to be simplified. <clears throat> Four twelfths isn't going to work. Let's see. So, one third. Now we have one half plus three tenths. One half plus three tenths. Okay, so, I bet tenths would work here. I'm going to try that. I bet tenths would line up really well. Perfect. So, um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Um, five tenths. So my one half, start with one half, plus three tenths, and I end up with one, two, three, four, five, five tenths, plus, and I meet this stays at, at tenths, three tenths, and I get eight tenths. Hmm, something tells me this is not simplified because eight and ten are both divisible by two. Let's see if I can find something bigger that would fit here. How about fifths? Put a fifth here. Oh, that works perfectly. So, I have one, two, three, four fifths. Four fifths. Now, I, can, I know I can't simplify this because I know how to simplify. And so four fifths must be my answer. Now, if I were doing it numerically, I would start out with this and then simplify my answer to this. So this models that very well. So that's four fifths. And if you have trouble getting onto the, the website, the fraction website, please email me. I will also have fraction strips you can print out that you can just cut out and move around on your table if you want.